this is Plants and Me. My name is So. Welcome. Today's video is going to be an unboxing from Hertz. So exciting. Hertz Gardens. Oh, I've been waiting for this box for days and it is here. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday and it was not. I was so disappointed, but it is here. This is my second video. I posted a video on um, avocados like six years ago. Haven't been back since. But here we are. You know what? Let me scoop this over here. <clears throat> okay. Bunch of. <gasps> Look! Wait, damn it. Oh, this is going to be impossible. Hold on. I gotta get this. Oh gosh. See that? How nice. Ah! All right. So excited. But these are the plants. This is my second time ordering online. Thank you. Your order was packed with love by Chantel. Nice. Um. Thank you, Chantel. Oh gosh, all right, you know what? I'm trying to look for the invoice so that I could tell you the names because I'm not gonna remember what they are. But I can't seem to locate it, so we'll get back to that. This is the tiger's mouth. I remember that one. It's a succulent that I thought looked like um more like an alligator's mouth than it does a tiger mouth. Thank you. Well, the one in the photo looked like an alligator. I'm going to, I'm gonna save my babies now. I won't wait to take the tape off. Gonna make a big old mess. Tuberculosa. Oh my. There we go, buddy. It has speckles on it. See? So cute. Love you already. Okay. Next plant. I think this one was $4.99, if I'm not mistaken. I will. Confirm in a second. What are you? This here is the Creeping Charlie. Hello there, my friend. The Creeping Charlie. It's Lido. But that's okay because I ordered two. This was supposed to come with two. It was a pack of two and I ordered two. So there should be four of these in this box. I see another one here. What are you? And here's the other. And here's the other. So indeed there are four Charlies, Creeping Charlies. This may be long. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open them up now. Probably edit out the whole thing and just fast forward through it maybe. Fast forward through it. Sounds like a good idea. All right, there's one view. So I'm going to pop these up so that they can live together. Come on. I don't know, let me smell. Because I remember. It smells like dirty mop. It's probably. Like that, right? Cause it's wrapped up in plastic and stuff. The wet soil probably got a little funky smelling. I've seen videos, and that's the first thing people say. Ooh, it smells weird. It smells funky. So that didn't. The smell didn't smack me in my face. I put my nose to it, but it does have like a kind of a dirty mop smell. But that's fine. I bought Miracle Grow soil, 
last week, week before, well, my husband got it actually from a hardware store. And um, it came smelling like a dirty mop, like a seriously dirty mop. And I was so mad. And I was sitting out the window on the fire escape because it reeked like a dirty mop. That's the second one. Second one, so cute. And these are like um, they're vining plants, hence the name Creeping Charlie. I had a Creeping Jen or a Creeping Jenny last year. Oh, such a beautiful plant, but she ain't make it. It um. The winter came and the sun left and she's not happy. And no matter where I put her, she wasn't having it. So I will buy her cousins. Well, hello, Charlie. That's the other one. This one feels nice and wet. Oh my God, hurry up. Come off, I want to open the others. All right, there's the next one. Ooh, what are you? I don't remember. Who are you? They package this stuff pretty well. This the hope, the philodendron hope. I think this one is the philodendron hope. Yep, this is the philodendron hope. Ooh, able to identify. <laughs> oh, such a jackass. Hold on. Yep. You can see the hope philodendron like up there. Come on now. Yep, not focusing, but this is a philodendron hope. Look how creepy. This is supposed to grow like super big and ruffled at the edges. Here's another, another class. Ooh, this one feels heavy. Oh, we've got rootage. What are you? Is this one of those sense of, oh. Oh my goodness, wait, wait, wait. This is you. This is the Ag Agla, Agla, Agla Onima. This one was the white something oh lord what is your name how pretty look at the white stems is this considered stems stalks i don't know oh she's beautiful would you look at that i have the uh silver bay and it's one of my favorites i love it so much it puts out new growth like back to back to back to back what's that called consecutively White what? White rain. Oh, look. So pretty. Again, I was expecting something a little bigger. Where is my invoice? I don't see it. Oh, I'm so excited for one. I mean, I'm excited for them all. But there is this one that I'm just dying to see the size of. And that is the philodendron, um, what is it? Hold on, hold on. Gigantium, oh, supposed to be huge. And it grows huge, it's obviously not huge in the box, but there is a big guy in there. What you got growing in here, girl? Go 
get some leafage. They watered this puppy right before. We have a little yellow leaf there. That's okay. Let's clean your scabs off, yeah? Oh my God, I love it. And it's gonna go with its cousin. I have it living on my TV stand along with a whole bunch of other things. This here is a Sansevieria snake plant. I have one. Where are you? Where are you? Back there. I love it so much. And around here, they seem to stop selling them like this. What variety is this one? This is the black coral snake. Is this who you are? Because I have another one. What oh lord, these names I can't even. This one looks sort of the same. Can't front. Hmm. Hmm. This one is supposed to be lighter in color. You could see maybe here the light, the light color. I was about to say I've been shaded. And here's the other light one. Is this that one? It just says snake plant sense of area. It doesn't say the um what that one says. Can't even read that name. Okay, let's try. Zelang Zelanica. Zelanica. Let me take all these babies out the Oh, here's the other yeah, bag in your mouth. Oh my god! This this is what I was expecting them to you know like little difference. Come on now, <sighs> and I'm trying to like find the damn prices because it's not showing me the prices. Come on, it's fine. It's so fine. I think I paid. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if you know my editing skills are up to par, I'll put them around there somewhere. And this, my friends. It's the Gigantium. You stink, girl. Oh, my gosh. All right, come on. Let's open these babies up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Look how pretty. I saw this plant in a doctor's office one day. And for the life of me, I didn't know what it was. All I saw was these pink stems, stalks, whatever you want to call them, whatever the name is. I do not know the proper name. So pretty. And it was huge, 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 huge by the window. Loving life. Ah! Okay, all right. And, uh, damn, that was a new growth, wasn't it? Oh, the little tip. The starting of a new leaf. Shut up. So yeah, it was huge and it was beautiful and there was like nodes everywhere screaming, take a piece of me. And I was just like, nope, I'm not going to do it. This plant does not belong to me. And if it was me and somebody did that to my beautiful plant, I'd be so upset. Even though it was a doctor's office plant, I let it be. I just ordered one. There's like, what are these? I don't know. There's little things growing along. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. And the plant shop had them, but it was weird. Like, I didn't like the color of the leaves, what the leaves looked like. Aseum, Aurora. And this one is the stripes. Let's get you out of there. Let's put you right there. Get you away from the mic, girl. Hold on. Oh, hello. Big deal. Ooh, there's one, two, three. Oh my gosh, there's four of them in here. The 
look how pretty ew and how big oh i wish the others were this size <gasps> I love them anyway, and it's fine because they'll grow this size in my care, you know, but there was only one that came in there as opposed to four. Do you see them? Look, 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 look. Four. One, but it's fine. And this one too has the one, and then it has like tiny little babies coming out the bottom. That's okay. All right, Santa Varies, you just got a... Uh, tape on you so i'm gonna leave you there i don't love you any less but we gotta get this guy out of plastic oh my gosh look at you what are those roots oh my oh they're filthy poor thing oh no all right let's get you out oh my gosh these are roots these are roots screaming put me in the soil i was gonna say dirt i fight with my husband all the time he's like it's dirt and i'm like it's soil and then i'll slip up and be like dirt and then my son will be like it's soil mom Whatever. it feels a little wobbly like it's not stable in here oh my god we have a split leaf here that's fine just wrinkled this reminds me of like banana leaves when you're making pateles. It's a Spanish uh, dish thing that you make for the holidays. And that's what the leaf reminds me of. Let's see. The roots swirling in the top. Oh, which is oh, which is interesting. You would think the roots would be in the bottom, but it's like the base of this plant has roots coming out all over it. Kind of like the monstera. Deliciosa. Let me see without making a mess. Okay, let me turn it. You see the roots right here? Oh, I don't want to. See them here going all the way around and like the roots are just coming out of everywhere and tiny little roots coming out the bottom so i'm definitely gonna get this guy out and you know plant it a little deeper give her a bath all right box let's think oh my goodness so thick super duper thick i need to find the best home for this guy my husband ordered me some track lights that I'm waiting for in the mail so that uh, the new plant babies have some light because the existing plants have the light that they need there's I don't know, maybe 160 plants in here give or take a few and with these it's more like 170-ish, 70 change, I don't know. Then I have to count them up. I haven't done that in a while. Because I, um, I put a lot of them together. The like plants, I put them in the same pots to have like a bigger, bushier plant. Uh, we moved here last year. And that's when I started buying all the house plants. I had a few, you know, maybe like eight when we came here. <clears throat> and then with all the windows and the open space, I went nuts. And I haven't stopped. So, yeah. So, when I started, I started separating them as they came. Like, you know, a year ago, if this, you know, I bought it this way, I'd be like, oh, my God, I got to separate it. They need space. They can't breathe. Blah, blah, blah. And they're fine. So... I ended up doing that and now I put them all back together to live in harmony. So yeah, I've been doing that because if not forget about it, I would have had double the amount in this house of plants and I had to make space 
And I noticed, you know, a lot of them after they were separated were unhappy. So I put them back together. Some loved it, some hated it, and some. they're all thriving. They look beautiful. They're lush. They're hanging everywhere, climbing on walls. But I'll show y'all that in another video. Little baby. They're, okay, they're here. So cute. And this is, wait, wait, nope, that's the same one. All right, so my buddy back there was about this size, pretty small when I got it, and it's now big. Living in that spot for most of its life, I'm going to say. I think I moved it once from there and then put it back, but it, I have track lights on the ceiling, and it's loving life in that little spot. This one has, like, crunchy tips. Um, yeah, that has to go. That's going to drive me nuts. I don't really like the look of that, but I'd rather that than crunchy tips. So we'll work on it. It feels, I don't know if you could see the camera. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, you see how it widens out the pot and then it's thin. I feel like the roots are pushing out in here. Like, oh, because this one, obviously, yeah. That's what's happening. I could feel the bulge right there. This one also feels bulgy. The one in the back, it was just one, you know, one in there and grew out. These have multiples. That makes me happy. It's a worm, but what kind? I fall. It looks bloodthirsty. Oh, no man, get yourself together. What we're gonna girl. do is take Chantel's beautiful thank you card, and we're gonna stick you on there. It moves backwards. I want to see what I'm doing. Come on now. There you go, buddy. Go on. Go on. Reach for the dirt. Go on. It was going under the car. Come on. Will you just cooperate? There you go. Come on. Uh, Oh my, did you see? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's, oh no, it's lifting, it's rising. Oh my God, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, because you have to go pronto, post haste. All right, worm, get him over, there you go. All right, it's on the card. They expect it, right? A ton of soil is going to be some type of bug, insect, creepy crawler. Amongst them, wasn't expecting it to be on my table, though, but it's fine. So fine. All right, y'all. So this is what it is. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve plant babies. Twelve new plant babies to add to my collection of beauties. Um, if you sat through this, thank you so much. Um, if you want to go back one video, you could watch my avocado time lapse. I have maybe like 12 more. That'll be another video there over there. That's why I'm pointing over there. Um, this is what it is. Thank you for joining me again. This is Plants and Me. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next one.